Hey guys, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to create a reverse proxy using IIS so we can forward the request made to our IIS website to a different uh, server within our server. So in this case, uh, what I have is, let's go to the server. Uh, we have an IIS here. We just want website, but what we want to do is uh, sharing the same IP. We want to um, forward the request to the node server that I have in here. The node server is publishing an O data fee, O data fee. So if you do look at host 3000. You can see the metadata in here. Uh, this is the server definition, and if you do this, you can see the service description or the service metadata, uh, or you can do something like uh, products, or pro product is is not plural, it's singular. Or let's see. Let's do category instead. There you go. Uh, here is the category information. So we want to publish this. And well, let's let's get started. So first, what we need to do is download the web platform installer from Microsoft. I will download this one because it will save time. Then we need to download two somehow plugins for IIS. So I wrote them down here. We need the URL rewrite. So let's download this one, uh, version 2.1 um, from 2017. Let's, oh, it's already installed. Good. And then the AAR. Application request something routing. So let's see, we're missing this, and we, here we need to check about the release date because there are like several versions. I think version three is the current one. So here it is. This is the newest one, which is 2015. It's two years ago, but there are like really old ones, like from 2010. So let's add this one and let's install it. done. So now what we're going to do is basically we're going to add a new site. Uh, the site name in this case I already created DNS for this site is jdata.tinker.sb So the site name is going to be JDataTinker. 
the physical path even though you're not going to be pointed to it uh, you need it so in this case we're going to point it to in netpool www root even though it's not going to be pointed there and the host name is the um, the a record from the dns you already know that this doesn't have anything to do with the proxy it's just basically how you set up a website on IIS using host names. So after that, uh, we're going to bind it to HTTP and it's going to be bind to this IP because I have two IPs here in the port 80. Good. So now if we open this one, well, um, this is pointing to an empty folder, so let's not do that right now. Then what we need to do is look for your rewrite. And in here we have rules for inbound and outbound. And what we need to do is add a new rule. And we're going to do a reverse proxy rule. And here you see some warning. This is because it's the first time you're going to use it. So just say yes for that. So here it says, enter the server name or IP address where the HTTP request will be forward. It will be forward to localhost 3000. And enable SS SSL of loading if the request came from SSL. I don't need to do it SSL internally because it's like uh, it already came from the outside using SSL. And here is internal. Uh, traffic so I think it's faster if you do it like this with enable SSL offloading then what we need to write is the outbound round rule um, that what will happen uh, going out from the server this is coming into the server uh, basically from this um, URL we're going to forward to this everything that comes from there and that's pretty much it basically now if I go here and I open the the website um, what I'm seeing here is what is published in the port 3000 by the node server so if I go outside to the server I should be able to see the same There is, this is, I'm requesting this URL to IIS, but it's forwarding the request to Node. Now I'm watching the the site that is in Node, not in IIS. It's not pointing to the folder that I was using it. So everything in here works the same. So I can do like metadata. Or I can do product, for example. And it's lighting fast. So these requests are going from the IIS to another server inside the, the, the web server. So basically, if you have like some servers behind in your local network that you want to expose through one server that have a public IP, uh, this is like a really easy way to do it and it takes like five minutes so i think i will also do this using apache because i'm i always do the same experiments in both in iis or I, apache or and and um uh, i don't know how you pronounce this and genix um the other web server that is is like quite famous right now so basically that's pretty much it um it's quite easy if you have any qu any question you can like uh, write a message here in the in this post and i'm going to put the name of the packages in the description of the video and i'm going to put also the link to the microsoft web platform installer and that's basically it uh you don't need to do it like 
this doesn't it's not working because it's IIS and Node. You can basically forward any request from any type of server. You can forward IIS to Apache, IIS to a specialized server that is inside your network. So um, I just use these flavors because that's what I have on hand. And well, uh, I guess that's everything. So see you in the next video.